Okay, we are doing something called point slope. And this is the old style. And in this kind, you knew that the slope was here. And what was that again? This was the slope. What was this thing? Y-intercept. Good. But the new style is like this. Y minus 12 equals 4 times X minus 9. And who is smart enough in here that they caught my, for my earlier example, that they could tell me what the point is for this problem? You know, honestly, you could say this question. Mr. Server, what's the point? Uh -huh. Get it? All right. What is the point? 9 comma 12. Very good. And what's the slope? Need to be with me, otherwise I'll move you to the front row. Stay with me. Nine comma twelve, and where's the slope? Four is the slope. Good. That's where you store the slope. That's where you keep the point. Okay. Good question. The format here always has a minus. Have you noticed that? There's always been a minus here. So how could there be a plus there. If I put in a negative 9, then I'd have x minus minus 9, and that looks silly, so we'd say x plus 9. All right, so here's another one. y equals, nope, sorry, y minus 9 equals 5 sixths times x, and I'm going to do that again and see if you catch that, plus 4. There's a plus there. That means you have to go, oh, wait a minute. That's opposite of normal. Tell me what point and what slope. I'm going to come around and check you. I'm going to pause for a second while we do that. Okay. And I get why this is tricky. Okay. First of all, there's a whole bunch of numbers up here. What you got to get used to is the point is those two. And the next thing is, they have to be switched because the x of your point is by the other x. So it's not 9, 4, it's 4, 9. But it's not that simple either because this one's a positive 4, so we should make it a negative 4. And this one's got a minus 9, so we should make it a plus 9. Do you get how it's kind of opposite of what you would think? Both it's backwards. Seems like the 9 should be first. It's not. The 4 is actually first. And it seems like this should be a positive 4, but it's really negative 4. And this seems like it should be negative 9, but it's really positive 9. I get how that is backwards and reversed. It's like double negative almost, except it's different things. So then, the slope is the only easy thing. The thing in front of the parentheses, that's the slope. 5, 6, just like you see it. You don't have to switch anything to opposite or anything. All right. So let's see if you got that. It's backwards from the order, and it's also the opposite number of what's actually there. See if you can get this then. Negative 8 equals 2 thirds times x plus 12. What point? What slope? Wrote that funny. Point. I'm going to pause for a second while I walk around and check a few of those. Remember, the point is opposite, like backwards opposite, and the numbers are the opposite of what you see. It's very counterintuitive, like double backwards. I know that's why it causes trouble. What I mean by that is these numbers are backwards from normal. It's not 8, 12, it's 12, 8. And... It's not negative 8, it's positive 8, and it's not positive 12, it's negative 12. So this thing is backwards and opposite of what you'd expect. All right, so do you get it's not 8, 12, it's backwards from that, so it's 12, 8? Ah, that is the point. There we go. I get what you're saying, but okay, so 12, 8. But now we have to look at what, okay, 
Could you just hurry up, please? Okay, so this 12 should be the opposite of what it, yeah, I see. I see a positive 12, so it's a negative 12. And this isn't a negative 8, it's a positive 8. Now, you don't have to put a plus by things to make them positive. How many of you had negative 12 comma positive 8? All right, we're up to more than half of you getting it right now, which is a good sign. The slope, that's the easy part. The mope, why do I say m? Because it's m is the slope, and it's two-thirds. All right, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to check and see if you've got this idea that these two get reversed. It, it's not 8, 12, it's 12, 8. Right. You do not have to solve this equation. This is a special form of an equation that's got a point and a slope built into it. And I mean, I'm going to go back to this slide and show you why is this good. Because as soon as I give you a point and I tell you the slope, do you get it's really easy once I have a point and a slope to figure out where the graph should be? Watch. If I knew the point was 4, 1, I got a point. Watch, watch. This is why, this is why, I think this is what you were saying, why do I even need this? The point is right here, and the slope is, let's say the slope was one half. I go rise one, run two, rise one, run two, and there we go, I've got a bunch of points. All I needed was a point and a slope, and it's really easy to make the graph. Okay, so, I'm going to give you one. I do tend to found the board pretty hard with these markers. If you look, the marker tips are all completely flat. So yes, I'm a heavy writer. All right, so um, I shouldn't have an equals there, should I? I should have a y minus. Let's make it plus this time to see if you really ca caught it. y plus 12 equals negative 6x minus 19. There's a point. And there's a slope in there. I would like you to find the point and write it in parentheses with a comma. And then the slope, and you can abbreviate that with M. And I'm going to come around and check you. I like it. I'm going to say that on the video, too, because I think that's good. Uh, our other teacher, Mrs. Noland, was saying that if you get confused about which one's X and which one's Y, the one that's by the X is the X. So that 19 goes here. And it's the opposite of what I see. I see negative 19, so I put a plus 19. You don't have to put a plus in front of it to know it's a 19. All right. And then the y is the thing by the y. And so that's the 12. But wait, it's a positive 12, so you do negative 12. Who had 19 comma negative 12? I think we're up to almost everybody now. And the slope, negative 6. So then if you actually had to graph this, this one would be a lot of counting because you have to go over 19 and down 12. So I'm going to be giving you the graph paper next because to be able to do this next part, you'll need some graph paper. So I'm going to pause for a moment while we get the graph paper out. Okay, so here we go. Number one. Wait a minute. It's got no equation. It's just got a graph. So first, what we have to do is write down what is the point and what is the slope. Okay, so you actually get to pick, but always pick the one that's got the easier numbers. So there's two points on here. What's that easier point that you see? What comma what? 3, 1. Very good. Do you guys get that there's a point at 3, comma 1? Then I want you to write 3, comma 1 in parentheses because that's the point. Number one. Do you get how there's three comma one is on there? Oh, yeah. Over three, up one. All right. Then next thing we need is the slope. It is how much rise over how much run. Okay, look at number one. Okay, I already wrote the thing down. I don't think you did yet. Number one, write that down. Now the slope is negative something. How many? I think it's negative four. It's going down four. You sure? I'll check with my glasses. Come on, guys. One, two, three. It's going down four. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yes, it's going down four. 
Discount! You guys are killing me. It's going down four spots and then over how much? Over two. It's from the other dot. Oh, I get what you guys are thinking. You're thinking it starts at the middle. It goes from this dot to that dot. And so you have to go down one just to get to the line, and then three more. Okay, now I get what you were saying. Okay, so it's down four, and it is over two. So what is our slope? Our slope is, hmm, what is it? Negative 4 over 2. And yes, you can simplify that. It'll be a lot easier to write. It's just negative 2. That's the point and the slope. So now we have to write the equation. So the equation is y, and then we got to put in that point. Now remember how they're backwards? Nope. We need y minus something. Which one's the y? Yes, it's backwards of what you would think. So y minus 1. So even though the 3 seems like it should come first, the 1 comes first. Now the slope is negative 2. And then what do we put in the parentheses after the slope? Hey, there we go. x. And, but it's got to be the opposite of that number. Negative 3. So I know, it's backwards opposite again. So the 3 seems like it should be this first thing, but it's not. It's the second thing. And it's not a 3, it's a negative 3. And this 1 seems like it should be the second thing, but it's actually the first thing. And it's not 1, it's negative 1. So it's opposite. And then the slope, this negative 2, I'll draw it with a blue line. That just drops right there. Okay. So all we got to do on each of these, and I'm going to do some of them with you, so you won't have many left that you got to do yourself. Let's do number two. On problem two, I need to know what the two points are so that I can graph them. So I'm going to call on somebody. On number two, Mr. WT, would you read me? It's not that hard. Well, tell me one of the points that's in problem two. What comma what? It goes down three, yes, but first it starts by going over how far? Uh, negative one, or positive one. Yep, positive one, comma. All right. So uh, that's right. Positive one, negative three. There's a dot right there. And the other dot is at uh, three, comma, negative one. Does it matter what dot you use? Good question. Does it matter which dot you use? No, but I'm going to tell you a trick that makes it easier. Always take the one point that's closest to the origin. You know, this is where we all start, right? So, it either point is legal, and I will accept either point, but let's pick this one for this guy, and then we'll do our slope going up and to the right from there. Okay, so anyway, that's our point. So everybody write. You don't have to write out the word point, but you have to put a parenthesis and a comma. That point is 1, comma, negative 3. And our slope, our mope, is rise over run. I don't need a parenthesis for that, my bad. What's the rise to get from here to here? Last time, nobody could count. There you go, 2 over 2. Good. We're going to simplify that. It equals 1. The slope is 1. Now that we've got the point and the slope, you have to write the equation. You go y minus something equals the slope times x minus something. What should go where the question marks are? Okay, let, let, he, he wanted to give it the answer this time. I'm going to let him try it. Go ahead. Instead of that, you should put what? Y. Yep. Plus 3 because it's the opposite of minus 3. Keep going. And the slope is 1, yes. We put the opposite of this one, which is negative 1. You've got it. y plus 3 equals 1x minus 1. That is 
much harder form than that other form we learned, but you got, got the other one down so well that literally the lowest grade on that quiz that I gave was a B. Okay, so you guys got the other form down. This one's called point slope. It's harder, but as long as you remember that it's the opposite, these points are the opposite of the numbers we use, and they're in the opposite spots. It's not that bad. Okay, question. Okay, you could not have a negative here because the slope is not going down. Do you get that the slope is rising as you read from left to right? So you can't use a negative one. That's not okay. But I think what you were saying is you used the other point. The other point is at 3 comma negative 1. So if you used, uh, let's see, positive 1 here and negative 3 there, that was okay. All right, that's fine. Yep. Just make sure you don't think that this is a slope is negative. This slope is positive. No matter which point you use, it's a positive slope. Okay. I know, it's weird. I know. I agree. Number three is weird. So let's talk about it. The slope is what's really messed up. There is no slope. So let me help you with three. First, watch three. All right, I'll have to explain three to him later. That's okay. So on number three, it's going straight up. That has how much rise? Five rise. But the weird thing is, how much run does it have? How do you do a slope of five over zero? It's a lot of people don't get this. Let me see if you guys can get this. This one's okay because you can have zero cookies and divide it amongst your friends and everybody gets zero cookies. But you can't have five friends or five cookies and divide by zero friends. That one doesn't make any sense. So this kind is error. Technically, it's called undefined. There's no solution for that. So that... Stop talking, please. This means that this slope right here is so steep that it is an error. You can't do it. So that means for this equation, you have to revert to a different kind of equation, and it's a really simple one. x is negative 3 for both of those points. So the line for this is x equals negative 3. That's it. All right, so number five. Good question. Number five is another weird slope. But remember how I said one of these is okay and one of them is impossible? The one we just did, number three, that had an impossible slope. So you had to go with the x equals three line. I know that got a little intense, but we got two or three days to learn this stuff. So for number five, how much rise is there? How much rise on the slope thing? How much rise is there? Zero. Zero over anything. I don't care what you tell me here. Nine. Fine, nine. It's not nine, but let's say zero over nine. It's still zero. Five. So the, is it actually two? Even so, it's still going to be zero. So the slope on that one is possible. The slope is zero. Zeros on top are okay. All right. Number five, write this down. Stay with me. All right, now the point there is one negative one. That's the point I'm going to use. And if you are really going to insist on using the other point, it's fine. But then to the write the equation, you go y, and then, wait a minute, how's that opposite thing go again? It's plus one, good, equals the slope, which is zero, which is weird, but keep going with it. And then it's x, and then how do I do this again? Negative 1. Good. Now, if you had written this, I would have given you credit. But who can see something that would simplify? How could I write this red thing simpler? 
the zero times everything cancels. It's gone. It's equal to zero. So then I could write y plus 1 equals 0, but who can write that even smarter? Y zero. Not y equals 0. Y equals negative 1. Notice we just subtracted 1 from both sides. Now, I know that got really weird there. But that's really good for you to see that sometimes when you have a slope that's weird, like instead of just really steep, impossibly steep, that kind can't exist. And so we say x equals whatever the number is. Let's say this is at 5. It'd be x equals 5. And lines that go the other way are y equals lines. Like this, let's say this one's at 4. This would be line y equals 4. Now, there's a lot of opposites in math. This is the x-axis, and it runs this way. And this other line is y equals 4. They're kind of like opposites. And this is the y-axis. And if I were to run a line like this, it would be x equals, let's say, 2. All right. So, I know this is tricky. Don't worry. we got a few days built in to give it a try. If you are stuck on what the slope is or what the point you should use is, just ask me. I'll be happy to help you. Got one you want to ask about? Yes. Which one? Yeah. All right. For number four, just checking on the slope. Okay. On number four, it goes from a point about here uh, to a point down here. How much does it go down? You count and I'll count, and I'm going to do, we'll see if we get the same thing. I got 5 down. I agree. So it's negative 5. So a slope is always the rise over the run. So this is a rise of negative 5 over the run of how far do you count going that way? I think it's just 1. So there it is. There's our slope. Negative 5 over 1, which is the same as negative 5. Yes, sir? For which one? For this problem? Or for general. Okay. The general form of it was this. But I don't really like that one that much. I like to say that this and this are the point. And M is the slope. You guys know that M is the slope by now. I keep saying mope to try to remind you. All right, so, so negative 5 over run of 1 would be negative 5 over 1. The slope on this thing would be negative 5. And then if I was going to give you a uh, final answer for this one, it would be that point right there. I think it's 2 comma 4. I'm going to double check that. No, it's... 3 comma 3. Sorry about that. 3 comma 3. And this is problem number 4. Maybe that's where I got the 4 from. And the uh, equation would be if this is my point, 3 comma 3, and this is my slope, negative 5, I would take the opposite, opposite. So I got to switch places, but 3 and 3 are already the same. So I can just say, y opposite of 3 is negative 3, slope negative 5, x, and then the opposite of that is negative 3. There we go. From here, I'll help you individually, happily, but I don't want to record anymore because otherwise I will have done the whole worksheet, and that's not good. So I'll help you one-on-one -on -one from here. That's all I got for the video.